Wild Talents, by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 3 I. There have been cases that have been called mysterious, though they seem explicable enough in known circumstances of human affairs. See a story in the New York World Telegram, March 9, 1931, about 30 men and women at work in the Herd Clothes Company factory, Nassau Street, Brooklyn, sudden terror and a panic of these people to get to the street. The place was filled with a pungent, sickening odor. In the street, men and women collapsed, or reeled, and wandered away in a semi-conscious condition. Several dozen of them were carried into stores, where they were given first aid treatment until ambulances arrived. The phenomenon occurred in the second floor of the Kerry building, occupied by the clothing company. No body in any other part of the building was affected. All gas fixtures in the factory were intact. No gas bomb was found. Nothing was found out. But, considering many crimes of this period, the suspicion is strong that in some way, as an expression of human hatred of origin in industrial troubles, the volume of poisonous gas had been discharged into this factory. And it may be that, in terms of revenges, we are on the track of a general expression, even if we think of a hate that could pursue people far up on the mountainside. In hosts of minds, today, are impressions that the word eerie means nothing except convenience to makers of crossword puzzles. There are gulfs of the unaccountable, but they are bridged by terminology. Four persons were taken from a wedding party to hospitals. Well, if not another case of such jocularity as mixing brickbats with confetti, it was ice cream again, and to main poisoning. There is such satisfaction in so explaining, and showing that one knows better than to sound the pian to main, that probably vast holes of ignorance always will be bridged by very slender pedantries. Asphyxiation has seduced hosts of suspicions that would be resolute against such a common explanation as gas poisoning.